We are Julie and Martin and we live on our narrowboat Rhapsody in Blue. Join us on our journey as we go through some stunning scenery, tunnels, we meet wildlife on the way, as we cruise the inland waterways of the UK. Hello there, this is um, a little bit different this video. You'll see us fitting our new security camera, the Rio Link Duo 2. Um, we're not being sponsored, but we are doing a review for Rio Link as they are also very interested to see if this will work on an narrowboat. So yeah, we think you'll be really, really interested in this. So yeah, enjoy the video. We are not being sponsored by Rio Link, but have been sent this Duo 2 camera with 180 degree detection to give an honest review. Everyone has the right to protect their property from thieves and intruders, but always need to adhere to GDPR rulings for privacy, etc. This needs taking into consideration when placing and arming security cameras. So this is the Rio Link. Duo 2. And inside we have another one. That I'm assuming is all the gubbins. Oh, and these are the antenna. Antennae. if you want to strap it to something. Let's just get everything out. Put it to one side so they can just see it. Can't get it out. It's very well packaged. And then this is the main event. We'll leave him in his bag for a minute. So, here is the Rio Link Duo 2. And you'll see it has a protective film over the front at the moment. As you can see, there's two cameras. And that's obviously, is that the detection? The sensor, yeah. The sensor. So inside the box, you get the camera itself and the antenna. You can see there that the camera has got the two lenses. You get the brackets and fixings. You get a charging lead and a strap and also the instructions. RioLink is a leading company in the security camera industry. Whether indoors or outdoors, they have off-grid solutions and are always upgrading to improve detection, picture quality, night vision, etc. You do also need a micro SD card. We have the 64 gigabyte which RioLink have sent us, but you do need to purchase that separately. Inside the instruction pack, you get an operational manual. You also get a couple of legal documentation and you get a sticker. Yeah, the instruction manual is very easy to understand. It shows you what's in the box, um, shows you all the different um, components of the camera um, and how it's laid out, where all the components are and um, where your reset button is and your power switch. So, what we need to do is we have instruction booklets and in here on page 5 there's a QR code which I need to scan. Which takes you to the correct Rio Link app. So I shall just download that. Okay, so while that's doing its thing and downloading, I can now, on the back of the camera itself, you've got a screw there that I need to undo. There you go. Takes that little thing off there to reveal, what is that? A little, little rubber, 
cover ready for me to put the SD card in. So there you go. There you go, put that in and secure the little rubber cover back over. So that's it, that's the SD card put in. So right, oh I better put the cover back on. <laughs> Haven't I? Four oh, fingers and thumbs. I'll do that while you're uh, talking to the camera. Yeah. Your My trusty, trusty assistant. assistant. <laughs> okay, so let's open this app up and see what we're... Okay, so the power switch for the camera is underneath that little cover. So Martin's now taking that off again, aren't you? Yeah. You can around here. No, I'll do it here. You can do the camera work. <laughs> He's gone shy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put a little slider button. Yeah, there's a little tiny, tiny slider button there. And welcome to Real Link. Please install Real Link app and scan the QR code on the camera. Welcome by Real Link. Bitte Real Link app installieren. Okay, and the QR code it says I have heard the voice of Flick. Bienvenue à Real Link. Camera is connecting to your router. Connecting your device. Create device password. So I've created a password eventually. Apparently you have to have upper, lowercase and a number and and a, a sign digit as well. So done that now. So this is this is the Rio link all set up. We've got the antenna on it. We've taken off the film off of the front of the th two cameras. Um, the cover's back on underneath and Martin has screwed it to its mount here. Martin's also prepared um, a magnetic pole that goes onto the top of the boat. He's put this metal bracket on and this is what the camera sits onto it hooks onto there and then the screw that is here where my thumb is pointing will go through it and screw it to the actual pole the pole is also going to be chained to the boat to the center of the boat uh, the chain's going to go through this metal and we are going to be, then be able to move it from one side of the roof to the other, depending on which side we want it facing. We're going to be having the pole mounted canal side face it with the camera facing towards the towpath, depending on which side, obviously we moor up which side the boat it goes. So yeah, that's where we're up to so far. So this is the solar panel that we've got with it. We've gone for the black. Um, it does also come in white. And that is the panel itself. It's got its own little stand. I can get it out of the box. It's got its own little stand, connectors, strap if you wanted to strap it to something and its lead and that will go directly into the Rio Link Duo 2. So we just need to find somewhere to mount it that's going to be near to the camera. Right, we've done, obviously you saw the unboxing and everything that we've done inside the boat. So obviously the next stage is obviously we've got to mount the camera or where we want to put the camera. Now our boat is 57, sorry, 58 foot long. So obviously the camera has a field of vision of 180 degrees, which is also 180 degrees of detection. So obviously for us, we've got, like I say, the 58 foot boat. So we've got a front entrance and a rear entrance. So the, we've decided to mount it as near the center of the boat as possible. So hopefully now that camera picks up the back of the boat or the stern or the front or in boat terms, the bow. Just while we're on the picture of the camera, you might notice next to it, we do have a solar panel. This camera is totally off grid. 
it's not linked it's just linked with this wire that hopefully hopefully keeps the battery in the camera totally charged up in the winter we may have to bring it in a couple of times just to top the battery up because obviously winter sun is not the best but hopefully in the summer it should keep it topped up other little things as well um, it's slightly longer than what you saw earlier because we decided we want to make the camera a little bit higher and it's also attached to a magnet based pole like a mag mount which you can get probably in a chandler's or online like amazon and other places um, the reason it's on a mag mount is that we can pretty much move the camera as and where we want and it's sturdy as well we've just had well, we've just had a 40 plus near enough 50 mile an hour winds and it has stood up perfect. No wibbling, wobbly and that and good picture. <laughs> and it's called, you might look at the camera, someone might, if, it depends how old you are. We've called it Johnny Five. And if you're as old as we are, a film called Short Circuit. It was made in 1986. That'll show you how old you are. <laughs> Anyway, um, like I say, it's on here. No disassemble. See, see if I move it. No, thinks I'm going to take it off. And then when you switch it on, it just goes input. <laughs> input. <laughs> we were liaising, or I don't know how you put these. I've said the right word with uh, Rio Link. Um, this is our choice because obviously we didn't want cameras all over the boat. And I don't think this was the first choice that Rio Link thought would actually suit a narrow boat. So I think they're quite eager to see how this turns out. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. It seems to be working for us. So at the moment, yeah, we're very happy with it. We think people will be interested in this because not only is this, we find it probably will suit us on a narrow boat, but if you've got a camper van, tents, anything like that, you remember this is purely off grid. So Having its own solar panel hopefully should keep it topped up at all times. So, you know, camper van, tent, house, you can have it on a house. You can strap it to a tree if you wanted just for detection of other things. So, yeah, we think this camera will suit our needs and I hopefully it will suit many other people. As long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection, yeah, this completely works independently. As long as you've got Wi-Fi, um, you've got recalled and a bit later on, as the light goes down, we'll give a little demo, hopefully, of some of the other features, which is like the lights. Um, I've got a siren on it, infrared, them sort of things as well. So obviously, over night time, it will detect you. Just a recap, at the end of this, right, the camera is screwed to the bracket, the bracket is screwed to the pole, and in turn, at the end of this, I will have a chain which will hopefully secure the main pole to the boat. So you're not gonna be able to just walk up and just take it, okay? Look at the lights. Doesn't really show it that much at the moment, but I should think if we might do another demo later. I can hear you, so that's the talk back. Oi, get off our boat! <laughs> I think that'll be fine, <laughs> yeah. She'll just scare anyone, won't she? So just to show you the Rio Link app, when you open it up, you're greeted with this screen. At the top right hand corner is where you would um, add another camera. You click on that and you'd scan the QR code um, on the device and follow the setup. It's very easy. Um, this is the camera itself. You can go into the settings, which are here on the right hand side. Um, we've named ours Johnny 5. When it opens up, you'll see we're on 33% battery at the moment. Um, we did charge it up to 100%, but we put it outside and we've had it running quite a bit without the um, without the solar panel. We have actually plugged the solar panel in now, but we haven't got a lot of um, sunshine to be fair. So we're probably gonna bring it in and charge it up because it, they do give you a lead as well that you can use with USB. Uh, Wi-Fi display. 
You've got lots of settings on here, stream, anti-flicker, day and night, brightness. You've got the camera name on the right hand side of the screen. So you've got Johnny, Johnny Five. The date is in the top at the center and there's a watermark, a Rio Link watermark. You can choose to turn that off if you want. Um, privacy mask. You can see there's a demo on the screen at the moment. This enables you to block out sections of the picture that you don't want the camera to see, i.e. this is how it looks without the mask and this is how it looks with the mask. You can see Martin's feet and on the last picture you can see Martin reaching over to the back of the boat. Um, advanced, well you've got brightness and shadows again you can, I mean, we've left it on auto. I mean, it's it's pretty good on auto. Um, and also advanced, this goes into image stitching. Well, the image stitch at the moment, that means the piece down the middle where the two cameras meet. Ours, it, I mean, it's pretty good what's, you know, what they've set up factory settings. So we, we're going to leave that one alone. But you can actually alter it by clicking here and you can change the horizontal and vertical um there's no need for us to do that i mean you can hardly see you'll see in the footage coming up um what else is there go back to the main screen light um you've got status led light we've left that on infrared right lights we've left that on auto for night time and you've got spotlight you can choose to have that automatically come on when you watch the live view or you can leave it off we've left it off at the moment but i'll just show you there is also a, a night smart mode which means that as the camera is activated the light would automatically come on so we've left the light off at the moment but you can choose to turn it on on the main screen anyway uh pir sensor motion sensor uh, at the moment we've got it switched on off rather um obviously for this demonstration and it's during the day we don't need it on we're here we're sitting in the boat um detection alarm it does have an alarm on it um and it also right the, the non-detection zones you can set those you can set it to see a person vehicle pet others it differentiates between um all of those you can set the sensitivity um, we've left it on smart detection, but you can turn it on. It seems a bit backwards here, but the lower the setting, the higher it, it's, it detects. So if I was to put this setting on high for person, it would not detect a person. <laughs> but if you put it on low, we keep, we have it on 20 and it seems to be fine. There, where's 20? There. So, oh, 21, that'll do. But yeah, you can see the person sort of lit up there. Um, we've left vehicle and pet on mid. I mean, most of them were on mid. We just put highlighted person a little bit more. Uh, save, yes. And object size. You can set the minimum object size and the maximum object size. Um, camera recording, we've left that on so that it does record everything that it sees. When, it's when, when we've put the PIR on the detection. Schedule, you can schedule it to come on at certain times. You can set it for a whole week and then every day, every Wednesday, you could set it to come on just every Wednesday if you like, or you can have, we've just left it as it is and we put the camera on as and when we want it on. Um, post motion record duration now we've yeah i'm just talking over the top of this so um we actually got that wrong originally um, we had set it to 30 that's seconds thinking that's how long that the camera enough. would record so, but it's not um, it was post motion record on. duration course, as as that means how long it will record after the movement has stopped the while something is moving the camera will record so yeah, push notifications we've got on and critical alerts, email alerts, we've got those on and we've got the siren switched off at the moment. We're in a built up area and um, the the notifications are quite loud enough on the actual phones, to be quite honest. So we don't need that on at the moment. Share camera, if you click on that, the QR code comes up for you to share it with a member of the family or somebody you wanted to share your phone with. 
a time lapse it's got a time lapse um, on here so you can actually set it to time lapse and you could get like a nice sunrise or a sunset or whatever so um, we might try that in the future so watch this space um advanced you can change your desire your, your password um you can change the date and time which we don't need you can reboot it or restore it so yes there's all your settings so that's that now from this main screen when you first get on here um this is where you can you can watch the live view you just click onto here and you'll it starts loading the live stream now if i turn it sideways obviously you can see it bigger you can hear people talking um, you can hear the birds um, so it's got very good sound you can zoom in quite far to be fair um, and you can see as you can see you can see both ends of the boat now it does look a bit like a banana and I mean look, it's picking up people walking over there it does look a bit of a banana but you can see everything and even if somebody walks through here um the stitch in the middle of the two cameras because these if you remember these are two independent cameras um but the image is stitched together down the middle and to be quite honest it's it's fairly seamless so yeah so you can do that from here you can change the you can change it to clear which is very high resolution which at the moment does seem to be working so i might leave it on high resolution you can see it's seen a car is moving i mean the 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 field of detection is amazing on this camera to be quite honest um it picked up somebody walking over there and that is a good what 30 40 35 40 feet away from us so yes it's very very good um so we have it on fluent which is low resolution purely because we're in a very low signal area at the moment um, if you click on the record at any time that will start recording um, and it will count the seconds down in the corner there um, and then you can click stop at any time and then you can share it either with rio link or the internet or you can save it to your well i think that automatic yeah it automatically saves to your phone you can take a take a photo and you can also speak through the camera using that sign now let me stop the live stream now this here this here is where you can put the camera on or off the pir the the motion sensor if i click that now then it's going to start it will start detecting and it will more than likely send me a notification because those people just ran across if you click on that and click playback at the bottom here what you get is this comes up this screen this is your calendar and you can scroll through the days it's the 26th of december at the moment happy boxing day everybody and these are the recordings so you click on one and it will show you a recording this one here was first thing this morning at 6.02 and it caught somebody walking their dog right over the back there. And you can watch any of the recorded mess recordings from that day. You can scroll through them. Yeah, so from playback, if you wanted to go back and see something that happened on a different day, you just click on the date. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play you a few examples of um, things that were recorded by the camera. Also, we've got um, Martin walking from one end to the other and you can see just how far it picks him up. So I shall put that on now. So you can see from this shot that Martin is at the left of the screen. I'll just zoom in. Um, he's a good 10, 12 feet from the end of the boat and he's now going to walk towards the boat and along in front so you'll be able to see the stitch um, of the two cameras <laughs> here he comes got to do a silly walk <laughs> he couldn't just walk could he now here he comes and he's just going through the stitch now so it's barely noticeable and he's now walking towards the back of the boat 
and he's just cleared the back of the boat and he's now gone out onto the road which again is about another 10-15 foot away. This clip shows a night view and me switching on the light from inside on, on, the, on the app, using the app. Um, you can see that the lights are very, very bright. Martin's just doing the water. Um, the lights will go off in a second and you will see, yep, the lights have just gone off and the camera's now put itself back into night view. So you can see the picture's quite clear. You can see in this shot, the camera picked up a van on the road, which again is about 12 foot to 15 foot away. And in this shot, it was very early in the morning, 3.17, um, and there was a man walking his dog. You can see the little dog coming behind him. But yeah, again, the camera tracks until it can't see that person anymore. He's gone way past the front of the boat now and is walking over towards where the bins are and the camera can still see him so it's great so top left hand corner i think they call this the hamburger don't they the top left hand corner you've got the store rio link store product registration deals and new things coming up rio link captures this is uh videos that have been shared with other people uh, with rio link um there's a support center um, advice uh, adjust your device order so if you had more cameras you can you can adjust which order they come in settings user feedback about and light so yeah there's lots of uh, lots of settings oh you can talk from here as well so you click on that tap to talk and now as I speak, it will come through the camera outside. Switch that off. So you've done it. People see that going past, I must think that's evil. And again, yeah. So yeah, there's lots you can do with this camera. And honestly, the, the field of vision and detection is absolutely amazing. We have been astonished to be, to be honest. It's worked a lot, lot better than we'd even hoped for. So we are really, really pleased really pleased with this and i'm hoping that rio link will be pleased too because you know they actually didn't think that this would work for a narrowboat and it's not one that they would have promoted to people that are off grid um living in narrowboats or camper vans um caravans even camping as long as you've got a wi-fi signal um you've you can use this camera. You can use it pretty much anywhere. So yeah, it's a, it's an amazing little camera. We're, we're thrilled to bits with it. At the end of the day, security cameras will only ever be a deterrent for opportunist thieves and would be intruders. Often we are moored in rural areas in the middle of nowhere, so can feel vulnerable. To have a camera as an early warning system with a siren, two-way audio, clear image of what is happening and bright security lights helps to give us peace of mind. So a quick summary, the Rio Link Duo 2 is easy to install, it has crystal clear images, two-way audio, 180 degree field of detection, remote access, one camera does it all. And if you like the look of this camera, click on the link we've left in the description below. <laughs> Obviously when we spoke, or when Julie message uh, right, was going backwards <laughs> right. so anyway now 
I always came up when I do this, didn't I? <laughs>